Coach is Rick Stewart of All Access Coaching. I'm really excited to bring you this free video and make sure you hit the subscribe and like button down below. And if you hit the like and subscribe button, you'll get notified when we upload new content. We're uploading three or four videos every week. Here's the one, this is one of our, uh, this is probably the one we ran the second most. Hack was number one. If you were in the last session, we tagged this with four verticals. We add this to everything. We love this. Uh, and I used to hate seam hitch because I felt like if you read it as hitch back to seam, you can't do that. You're going to be late on the seam. If you read it seam back to hitch, sometimes if it was too high, it was a dead play. I had all kinds of issues with it. And then we made one change, and I think it fixed everything. Um, what we do, I'm just going to go straight to the drawing to show you. We run number two as a read. Okay, so... If you uh, were in the first session, a read for us is, if I'm uncapped, I'm going to keep taking it up the seam. So I decide by eight yards, am I uncapped or not? If I, can, if I can attack the hash area and nobody can get over the top, I'm gone. If by eight yards I feel like somebody can cut me off and cap me and I can't take the hash area, then I'm going to snap and wrap. So I'm going to snap it off and I'm going to curl into the first hole or wrap the first defender, whichever way you want to talk about it. The difference in a normal read and the stitch read is, if we get press, we let this guy fade. Now, it's not a true fade. What it really is is a mandatory outside release in the quarterback or back shoulder. But what it enables you to do is now a hitch is not a dead play versus man. If it's man, the corner's going to take the hitch, and you're going to have the entire side of the field to throw the fade. You can't do that on regular read that we talked about in our vertical game because you've got a guy out here in this grass. But since we're running hitches... We're good to go. So that's the two-man rule. Hitch outside, and you've got this special read, the seam read, uh, stitch read, we call it. That's all it is. Uh, it's one thing added to a normal read. So the kids already know this. So we install this on, like, day three of spring install. They already know how to run read because that's day one. And we just say, okay, it's read, but if it's press, you're going to convert to a fade. Now, if it's three by one, we add another thing. And the reason why we like this so much, this we got from the Patriots. The Patriots call it Hoss Y Juke or Z Juke. It's all over the internet. People, they've done all these NFL films things on it. But it's an empty play where they have this into the boundary, and they have this basically to the field. And we don't let them do all the stuff the Patriots do, but our number three kind of copies what they do. He runs what we call a dodge. He's going to hitch, and he is the hot. So the quarterback looks, if we get blitz, he'll just throw the hitch if it's a fire zone or something. All right. So if he hitches, if he gets no ball, he's going to take a step outside and then cross with drag rules. So drag rules, you can sit or keep running. Um, so he, he can sit down there in the box or just outside the tackle box, but he's going to hitch, step outside, and then break. So it's a jerk. Now, we don't call it a jerk route because he also has the option to hitch. On a true jerk, he would just... There's, the quarterback would never look at it first. So we can hitch it, or we can run the jerk. So what, what this does is it gives you lots of different options. You can read it a bunch of different ways. You could read this inside out. If we had something else tagged, you could add, have that as a backside tag. We like to do it in empty and just have this to the two-receiver side and this to the three-receiver side. It's a great empty play. Great play. And you can just run it all the way down the field, and they can run three or four different coverages. You can just run this play. Um, but our favorite thing to do, what we do the most, is stack it. And the reason why we stack is if we see a 3-3 team, you just put them in huge conflict. The first thing we do against 3-3 is stack somebody into the boundary or field. Because what are they going to do? Are they going to remove? Most of the 3-3 guys do not want to break the box. They want to be eight-man front. They want to have one high. So all of a sudden now, you just remove their overhang. He's got to move out there to the stack. So if... If they don't, what you should do, what everybody does, is throw a fast screen. you got a two-on-one. Okay, So they, they don't want to just give you the fast screen, so they're going to move a guy out. If they're still going to stay one high, okay, if, they stay, if they're too high with that, you should run the ball. But if they're still going to stay one high, now they've moved, they've removed this guy from the box. Now they have created a huge hole right here in the middle of the field that that safety can't get to. So it's one of our favorite things to do. So right here, we motion the back out. All right, here to the field, all we're running is straight hitches. We're not even running stitch. So notice, we're stacked into the boundary. It's a 3-3 stack team. They have removed the overhang, and they put him over those two guys. Safety's still dead in the middle of the field. That's what most 3-3 teams will do. So he's read as it capped or uncapped. Okay? So as this receiver on top comes inside, that to him is uncapped. 
Corner stayed outside, the safety, there's no safety on the hash. Okay, so it's a quick game play. The guy that's over the top, he's going to play the flat. He takes the hitch. So what we have is now a one-step quick game play that goes and scores. Okay, so you have a really simple deal. We're going to run this against 3-3 stat. And we're either going to throw fast screens or we're going to run stitch. And we'll have our whole run game and stuff to the field. But you're making them make a decision about what they're going to do. And what it does is it forces 3-3 teams to go too high. And now you've got numbers again where you can have a chance of running the ball um, and doing whatever else you want to the field. Okay, so we do a lot with that. Now, you'll play teams that aren't 3-3 and we'll still stack because one of the things that it does, what do people do to stacks? One of the new things, defense is just banjo. So you stack, they back up and play soft. They're waiting for you to go vertical. That just enables you to throw hitches. It's a great, easy way to throw hitch against teams that aren't giving you a hitch. So many defenses now, especially in, in Georgia in 5A, 6A, 7A, they're going to press every play. Like That's just what they're going to do because they're not going to give you easy throws. They're going to make you earn it. Well, when you stack or bunch, you get soft coverage. So if you do not have guys that can win, and we had guys that can win this year, but if you don't, if you have guys that don't, it just enables them to catch completions in zone because people just don't want to play man against stacks and bunches. They just don't. So here's Stitch in the boundary. You can see this is he runs a terrible route, but he's capped by this guy on the hash, so he's going to sit it down, but we've already thrown the hitch. It's really easy. Quarterbacks love it. They, they just they love for us to run this play. And they also love because they feel like it gives them an option against man because they've got the opportunity for that fade. Now, one coaching point. If you stack, we can't fade. All right, so that, that you take that away. But our assumption is if we stack, you're not going to play man, so we're not going to need to fade. All right, here we are into the boundary we're stacked with empty and it's capped. So you can see them snap it off right here. It'll give you a chance to see one of those. So they really widen the safety, so he's capped, so he curls it right in the hole, and it's just an <coughs> easy throw. One of the things that uh, we found is that quarterbacks, different quarterbacks have, have different kinds of footwork on this play. If you really, like our quarterback was really weird about he wanted to be Matt Ryan and Tom Brady, the new thing for quarterbacks is to put your throwing hand side leg back. And for years, that's not what people talk gun. They always talk throwing, high, uh, throwing hand side foot up. Okay, well, now the new thing for a lot of those guys is to have it back. Well, if you do that on this play, you're going to have to punch step with your left leg. And it's basically going to be a two step drop. Um, because it's just not going to work otherwise. Because if you're already back and you just catch the snap and you're ready, you're, it's, you're ready too fast. So you're going to have to at least punch them. You can still one step drop um, if you're a normal gun footwork quarterback. Throws a hitch right there, a bunch of these. This is one where we should have thrown the sink. So you can see how low the safety is into the boundary. We're stacked. That's uncapped. He should have thrown the touchdown. But he just takes the hitch. And the kid has a really good run after catch and ends up getting first down. But you should have thrown the uncapped sink. Coaches, I really hope you got some great information from that YouTube video. Again, hit the subscribe and like button down below. It gives us valuable data. And you also get notified when I upload new content to this channel. Thanks for watching, coaches.